Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves. And today I want to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite Bach boxes, Bach instrumental music specifically, orchestral music, if you want to call it that. It's this one on Alpha with Café Zimmermann, six discs containing Bach Concert avec plusieurs instruments, volumes one, ah, six. Uh, Assis, pardon me, Integral. Yeah, Café Zimmerman, as we call them in Anglais, is just a wonderful, wonderful period instrument group um, that plays with such gusto and verve, but also finesse. And they're not one of those slash and burn period instrument groups, you know, that just hacks their way through things as quickly as possible. They have style. They have finesse. They have sensitivity. So let's get in here and see what's in here. Now, you know, <clears throat> we all have our favorite recordings of Bach Concerti, and there's so many. I mean, there really are just a lot. But this always struck me as a terrific deal because the performances are uniformly outstanding and you get, you know, the odd, the odd duck Bach, Bach concerto, like the triple concerto, things that you don't see all that often. So let's see what's in here. And you also get the overtures, which aren't concertos at all. I mean, you know, there's a lot in here. First, <clears throat> so volume one. There you go. The, oh, BWV 1052. The, Harpsichord Concerto in D minor. You know that one. Ooh, that's creepy, creepy piece. Then we have the Concerto for Oboe d'Amour, BWV 1055, which is a reconstruction because it's a reconstruction of one of the, the harpsichord concertos. And then the Violin Concerto in Do, Re, Mi, oh yeah, E major, pardon me. BWV 1042, and the fifth Brandenburg Concerto. See how nicely these are arranged to make like a really attractive program. You can listen to each disc separately. I mean, you get a beautiful Bachian Concerto program with lots of variety. So there's that one. And volume two, let's see, the third Brandenburg Concerto, the Concerto for Two Violins, um, the Overture in C major, BWV 1066, you know, the suite, which is lovely because it's not a concerto, and at least you get like a break from like concertoosity. And then the concerto for oboe and violin, a double concerto, which is a version of the concerto for two harpsichords, BWV 1060, which is very clever. By the way, the reconstructions are actually, you know, rather easy to do. I mean, not that I'm like running around doing them, but but it's usually pretty clear from the tessitura of the solo part, the keyboard part, what instrument Bach must have had in mind and the way he deploys his solos. So, you know, reconstructing these things is actually a, a minor industry in the Bach world, but one which has been very successful. There's nothing to fetch about, about, you know, well, it's not Bach or it's this or it's like Mahler's 10th or something. It's nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. We have the complete work. We have the complete solo part. The left hand of the keyboard is usually not terribly interesting or it's just accompaniment or you can leave it out. And the right hand has the basic solo part with maybe some additional keyboard filigree and stuff thrown in. So it's, 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 it's quite doable. And they do. They do it. So disc number three, uh, the fourth Brandenburg Concerto, the Concerto for Oboe d'Amour in D major, which is a reconstruction um, of the harpsichord concerto BWV 1053, and then the concerto for three harpsichords, and the overture in Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, yeah, whichever that one is in B minor. Yeah, BWV 1067, which is just delicious. Let's see what else have we got here. Uh, volume four, the concerto for violin in A minor. BWV um, 1041, then the concerto for two harpsichords, 1061. Those are the BWVs, I'm not going to, yeah. And then the, the triple concerto for flute, violin, harpsichord, and strings, 1044. This is a great performance of it, by the way. It's marvelous. And then the second Brandenburg concerto, which is, of course, the trumpet one, which is, you know, fun, much fun. Uh, let's see, let's, this one, number five, the overture number three in D major. Um, BWV 1068, the harpsichord concerto in F minor, 
with an asterisk. It's with Céline Frisch Clavecin Solo, the sixth Brandenburg Concerto, and the Concerto for Three Harpsichords, BWV 1063. Um, and it looks like, oh yes, here are the other harpsichord soloists. They're Anna Fontana, it rhymes, and Dirk Berner. So there we go. And finally, disc number six, the overture number four in D major, um, and the concerto for harpsichord in A major, BWV 1055, the first Brandenburg, and the concerto for four harpsichords, BWV 1065. So you see, what you're getting is actually all of the Bach concerti for diverse instruments with some of the harpsichord concertos, you know, there are like seven normal ones and a few other ones, reconstructed to try and fit what their original instrumentation must have been. It would be kind of cool to hear the D minor harpsichord concerto in its violin concerto original configuration, but uh, that's okay. It's really okay because it's just so such an iconic work in its keyboard version that few people dare want to return to the violin original. I kind of like it because it's less relentless than the harpsichord version, but that's me. Anyway, this is Cafe Zimmerman on the Alpha label playing superbly, superbly well recorded, a beautiful, beautiful box, six discs and a box of Bach. What could be bad? Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.